Rich and delicious Oreo cheesecake. Note the ingredients and follow the recipe. First, preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit and prep the baking pan. Wrap the 6 inches of springform pan with one large piece of heavy duty aluminum foil, covering the underside of the pan and extending all the way to the top. Line up the wax paper or spray the inside of the pan with nonstick cooking spray if needed. To make the Oreo crust, you will need 10 to 12 Oreos and 2 tablespoon melted butter or ghee. Combine both ingredients in the food processor until crumbly. In 6 inches springform pan, press the crumbs into the bottom. Bake the crust on 350 Fahrenheit in preheated oven for 10 minutes. Meanwhile make the cheesecake filling. To make the filling, in the same food processor, add all the room temperature ingredients. You will need 16 ounces of cream cheese, half cup of sugar, and one third teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one third cup of yogurt, one third cup of heavy whipping cream, two or four Oreo cookies, two eggs. Blend until smooth. To avoid lumps, make sure the cream cheese is softened and at room temperature. You can also blend this mixture in a blender, just don't over blend it. As soon as mixture turns smooth just stop mixing and set aside. Remove the baked crust from the oven and reduce the oven temperature to 325 Fahrenheit. Carefully set the springform pan into hot water bath. Pour the batter on top of the crust. Bake on 325 Fahrenheit and bake until the cake is just set, about 1 hour to 1 hour and 10 minutes. After 1 hour turn off the oven and let it cool down in the closed oven for 2 to 3 hours. After cooling down, cover and transfer to the refrigerator to cool for at least 8 hours or overnight. For chocolate topping, 4 ounces of milk chocolate, 2 ounces of boiling hot heavy whipping cream. Mix until smooth and shiny. Pour it over cooled cheesecake. Decorate it with Oreo cookies or whipped cream. If you have any questions regarding this recipe, please ask in comments below. And if you have tried this recipe, Come back and let me know how it was in the comments. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.